Okay, we are making a beautiful butterfly picture today and I used a little bit of watercolor paint and some crayon. And I started by um, just drawing half of my butterfly on a folded piece of paper. Then I took my paper and I folded it and then stuck this on the window and then traced from this, this was the side that I had finished first. I traced this on the window so that I could see the image through here. And that way I was able to trace it exactly the same shape. But for the purposes of the video, I am just gonna try my best to make both sides the same. And I think I'm actually going to use a permanent marker too instead of the black crayon, just to give it a different effect. So I'm going to draw the middle part of the butterfly first, and it's pretty small. And it's in the center right on my fold line. And then these antennas are real long. And then a little circle on the end of each one. Now my wing comes out almost all the way to the corner of the paper on each side and then curves in and out. And then connects back in towards the body here. And then my bottom wing is curving down. I'm kind of swooping back up. All right, so trying to do the same thing on the other side. Down and then swooping back up. Okay. So along the edges here, I made a little bit of, let's see, trying to match it up here, curving out and in, and then same thing along the bottom here. And then inside that, some ovals. And then a few lines along the inside here. So I do like the thickness of the crayon as opposed to the thinness of this marker. So I think I would probably go back over this a few times. with my black marker. And then maybe even kind of color that space in. That's in between these lines. Even these lines, I think I would like to look thicker. So I couldn't really do this with a regular black marker because then when I add the watercolor paint, it's going to, it would bleed and, and spread around. And I really want this black 
area to just um, stay put. I don't want this to blend out at all. And I think it would probably be nice to color in between these ovals that I added. So, you know, if I was working on my own here without the video, I would take my time more and, you know, work in a more relaxed way. But I want you to get the idea of the process and then you can always pause it or go back to it if you are not working as quickly as I am and especially if you just want to enjoy the process a little bit more in a more relaxed way So I really wanted to get some nice contrast between the black lines of the work up against the light and beautiful colors from the paints. Okay. Maybe a little bit more in towards here. So I think, you know, it looks pretty symmetrical. All right, so then for the painting part, like I said, I used the um, watercolor paints and I kind of just worked in a rainbow order of color. So I just got a little water on my brush and a little bit of the red paint, just working real gently and then just painting on one side only. And then folding that over and doing a print of that color. Now the black crayon is really going to help um, keep the paint in the areas a little bit better than the black marker would. But again, I wanted to try something a little different this time. Get some orange and then folding it over. And I should note also that I did use the 80 pound drawing paper for this, art paper, not the copy paper that I often use for some of my art projects. Generally, when I am painting, I want to um, use the thicker paper. Okay, so you can see it's coming outside of the butterfly, but I don't mind that. I think it looks kind of pretty. I'm not real concerned about making it stay inside the butterfly shape. But I am making sure that my paint is nice and wet. So if I'm using paints that are drying quickly, I'm going to have to work in smaller areas. You know, and you could always just, you know, paint it in the normal way, you know, just painting each side of your paper. But I thought this would be a fun printmaking technique to try.
see now that one I got a little bit of white there um, just maybe not enough paint or maybe it was starting to dry kind of quickly in that area so I could if I want to just go back and add some more paint if I don't like the way that spot turned out. So let me just show you. I'll add a little bit more green up here. And then we'll see if we can get some more in that spot. Oh yeah, that filled that in a lot more. All right, and then my background, again, I'm cleaning out my brush in between. Whoops, I kind of switched sides there. Let's see what happens when I fold that over. Ooh, that's pretty. here now some of my colors might you know blend and run into each other a little bit I think that just gives a nice effect I'm not worried about it this isn't like a real exact kind of precise drawing um, printmaking is never very precise you just sort of have to enjoy the happy accidents that happen and try not to control too much of what's going on. So here's my purple. So if it's real wet, it might get drippy and as you're trying to uh, fold over and print, you know, it might drip right into a spot where you weren't planning on it going. But try not to get too upset about that because it might just make something really cool. I've got a little bit down here in the corners. Left to do. And then maybe even a little more blue up here to fill this out. All right, I think that turned out really very, very pretty. So I hope yours turns out just wonderfully for you.